Hi everybody, God bless you guys. Welcome back to Menu Ministries. It's been a minute since I've actually done a video and I felt super led to do this prayer video. So I wanna go ahead and pray about, mm, thank you Jesus. I honestly didn't know what to pray about, but it looks like we're gonna pray about God's promises. God has promises for you. His promises are yes and amen. It's time that we get back into the secret place. It's time that we get back to believing again, believing in God's promises again. Sometimes we just let life, you know, get us down. We let life you know, get in the way and distract us. But let's come back, hallelujah, to the promises of God. Thank you, Lord, for your promises, that your promises are yes and amen. I give you all the praise, glory, and honor. That your promises are good, your promises are beautiful, and that they come to fruition in your perfect timing. Thank you, Lord, that we can still praise you, that we can still believe in your promises no matter what is going on outside of our window, no matter what's going on, going on in our neighborhood or workplaces. God is still in control and he's still in the miracle working business. Somebody needs to hear that. God still can heal. Can heal. He still can hear. He can still hear you. He can still heal you as well. Somebody needed to believe that again. Somebody needed to hear that out there. You've been hearing or maybe you've been thinking yourself that God doesn't heal. That it's something that only happened in the past. But I'm here today that God to tell you that God has a mighty miracle for you. Start praying for it. Start praising. Don't just pray for it. Praise God for that miracle. Praise God for that answered prayer. Praise God in advance for the promises that are yes and amen. He has plans for you and they are good. Are you willing to accept it? Are you willing to accept those plans? Because we hear it all the time that, you know, Jeremiah 29, 11, that his plans are good for us and not to harm us. But there's another side to that coin, saints of God. Do you accept it? Are you willing to accept it? It's like if somebody gave a gift to you and you didn't accept it, you rejected it and you just left it there on the floor. Then you have no gift in your hand because you left it. But I am here to encourage somebody today to pick up that gift again. You may have left it on the floor. You may have left that gift that God has for you on the floor, but God left it there for you to pick it up again. Believe again. Believe again, saints of God, that he is still a miracle working God, that he is still a God who is waiting to love on you and to shower you with these blessings. See, people have a hard time receiving these things. Don't be afraid to receive his promises. Don't be afraid to say, yes, Lord, I receive them. I receive your showering of promises and your blessings on my life. It's okay. It's okay, you guys. It's okay to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let religious spirit people tell you that it is. You don't need to be running around doing penance. And I already know somebody's going to have a problem with this video. But you know what? I pray the Lord opens up your eyes. That he opens up your eyes and causes you to see that he is surrounding us hallelujah that he is still wanting to pour out his mercy and grace and love upon you yes repent i'm not saying that don't hear what i'm not saying but the message today is also believe in the promises he has for you and receive them Thank you, Lord, for your promises. We receive them. Bless every single person hearing this that is under the sound of my voice. Bless them financially. Bless them spiritually. And bless their family and health. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'll see you guys on Friday, 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Shalom.